if the line is not of red color then it will not follow we are just going to break down the important concepts in python especially for robotics hello everyone in this video we are going to start with the day 6 of 50 days of robotics and we are going to discuss about the role of python in robotics and it is not going to be the complete python tutorial because there are good tutorials on python and also some courses on python which are uh, very amazing on youtube also and also some other courses as well which are completely free by the way so you can refer to that or else uh, if you want a dedicated video we can make that as well but just tell me that in the comment section but uh, we are just going to break down the important concepts in python especially for robotics so that we can further build some applications on robot operating system and some related things as well so the first important concept is about variables and data types it's really simple we use variables to store the data in python that can be integer float uh, some characters and many other things list tuples dictionaries also so for example x is a variable we can add uh, the integers float values or also the character values in the x type of variable so it stores the um, data types that can be list tuple or anything so it's really very simple i know many of you may know about the programming concepts but i'm just trying to recall those important concepts so that we can once again practice and get ahead with these 50 days of robotics as well so moving towards the next concepts it is about conditional statements so the conditional statements are nothing but the if elif else uh, for python uh, we are just talking about python there are other programming languages as well but the uh, most easy to start and also the most famous programming language currently is python so that's why we are uh, studying about it so about if elif else it is nothing but the conditional statements so we get a condition like for example if phi is positive and minus phi is negative so so we know that uh, if for example phi is greater than minus phi that is a true condition right so it will satisfy that condition and move towards the next statement if it's true uh, then it can print the value or else whatever command that we give and it will move towards the next piece of code so that's how the conditional statements work so these statements can be useful for example uh, if a robot is following a line if the path is of red line then the robot will follow that line if the line is not of red color then it will not follow so it's just an example but it works like this so moving towards the last and the important concept is about loops so simply loops are nothing but in any programming languages to avoid the repetitive task we use loops that's it for example if we want to print or else if we want to uh, get some numbers from 1 to 50 then we will start printing the number from 1 2 3 5 and many more numbers up to 50 so it will take a lot of time and also instead of doing this repetitive procedure and also to save time we can use loops we can directly iterate those numbers which are uh, from 1 to 50 and it will become just 3 to 4 lines of code and our time will be saved so that's how loop works and also there is there are some concepts if the loop is true then only it iterates further there is other concept as well which is object oriented programming oops concept we will cover that in the next video uh, but till now we have discussed about three concepts you have to study those concepts first concept was about the variables and data types second is about the conditional statements and third one is about loops especially for loop and the while loop so yeah that was about it we will meet in the next video till then grow learn and explore together <laughs>